Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Stephen Roth and I'm a board certified oral and maxillofacial pathologist. And today we'll be adding another case into my crazy case files about a man whose jaw fell off. But first, we got to get into that disclaimer and that is that all of the views and opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone and do not re represent any organization that I may belong to or that may employ me. And that also this video is for educational content only and should not be taken as medical advice. Should you have any questions about your oral or systemic health, please see your nearest healthcare provider. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. So it is officially spooky season, which is my favorite time of year. And to celebrate, I thought that I would do a themed case for my crazy case files that is right out of the history books, but seems like it could be out of a horror novel or movie. The story begins in 1903 when Marie Curie and her husband Pierre, alongside physicist Henry Vaccarel, made a breakthrough discovery. They discovered the theory of radioactivity, which is actually a term that Marie Curie coined. All three of them would win the Nobel Prize, which would make Marie the first woman to ever win a Nobel Prize. Their work would capture the imaginations of people everywhere. And Marie, who was now unfortunately widowed due to an unfortunate accident that would kill her husband, Pierre, traveled to the United States in 1921 to share her findings. This would inspire William John Aloysius Bailey, or William J.A. Bailey, to found Associated Radium Chemists Incorporated in New Jersey. Mr. Bailey was an American patent medicine inventor and salesman. He went to Harvard Medical School, but dropped out but that wouldn't stop him from claiming to be a doctor. He was so interested in radiation as a therapy that he often promoted it as a treatment for common ailments such as the cough, a flu, and other ailments that we experience every day. Mr. Bailey would advocate for adding radium to drinking water or to distilled water to cure everything from Alzheimer's to diabetes to mental illness to asthma pretty much anything that could affect a human being, Mr. Bailey would advocate that radiation could cure it. In 1922, Mr. Bailey's success took off. He began selling Arium tablets with the tagline, radiation gives Superman power. So I bet you can probably guess what he was suggesting was treated there. He had other medicaments too, like Linarium, which was a radium liniment for aches and pains, uh, caparium, which was a shampoo for the hair, for hair loss, and even dentarium, which was a radioactive toothpaste to solve dental pain. But Bailey's cash cow, where he made his fortune, was in Radithor. Radithor was distilled water with dissolved radium salts that Bailey claimed affected the endocrine system and cured a lot of ailments. Some of the slogans from the advertisements were, cure for the living dead, and it will enhance the vital processes of the body, as well as perpetual sunshine, whatever that means. This leads to our unfortunate case. Ebenezer, or Eben, McBurney Byers came from a very wealthy background. He was a Yale graduate and a U.S. amateur golf professional that even won a few championships in the early 1900s. He would eventually become chairman of his family's company, Gerard Iron Company, which was the world's largest steel manufacturer at one point. At 46 years old, unfortunately, Eben would suffer an accident while on a party train going from the Yale-Harvard football game. The train would crush his arm and the pain was so severe that his doctor suggested Radithor to help with the pain. There are some suggestions that perhaps Eben was looking for some of the other side effects as many considered him a man about town and he had several girlfriends, allegedly. So perhaps he was taking Radithor for that promoted effect. Wildly enough, Eben averaged about three bottles a day. And at first, he was proclaiming it a miracle cure. It relieved him of all of his pain. He began feeding it to his racehorses and giving it to his business partners and clients. 
However, after three years, the adverse effects of radiation began to affect him. His teeth began falling out. Eventually, his entire maxilla, except for two teeth, and his entire mandible would either fall off or be surgically removed due to the extreme effects of the radiation. Bones in his body began to disintegrate, and a skull film actually showed holes in his skull. In 1932, after only five years of drinking Radithor, Eben unfortunately passed. He is estimated to have consumed over 1,400 bottles of Radithor during his five years of treatment. In 1965, over 30 years later, Bayer's body was exhumed and was actually still emitting radiation. Mr. Bailey, by the way, this snake oil salesman, he died of bladder cancer, probably secondary to all that radiation. And in fact, his body was exhumed about 40 years after his death and found to be, quote, ravaged by radiation. Well, what about Marie Curie? Well, Marie Curie died of aplastic anemia in 1934, and aplastic anemia is a common side effect of radiation exposure. So all three of the main characters in this story passed from radiation exposure, but Evans was definitely the most gruesome and horrifying. We still obviously use radiation therapy today, but it is much more targeted and scalable. So we know exactly what dose we're giving to patients and exactly where it's going. Radiation is most likely to affect tissues that are constantly dividing, and the cells of the skin and the oral cavity are constantly turning over due to exposure to trauma and to friction. The jaw bones are also more prone to something called osteoradionecrosis, which is the bone dying secondary to exposure to radiation. Unfortunately for Eben, the localized exposure to that intense amount of radiation over that long term kind of rapidly accelerated and exaggerated the effects of radiation in his oral cavity, leading to his ultimate demise and really pretty gruesome photographs of the effect of this very young very healthy, very successful man. So that concludes my spooky installment of my crazy case files. If you'd like to see the other case files from this series, feel free to check them out in the link above. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone else that might enjoy it as well. Be sure to give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed already, it really helps the channel out, so please hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and be well.